Domains are the thing you write down in any web browsers that end with .com, .net, .org, .something. But all a domain really is, it's just a pointer to the server that contains the website. All websites are computers with IP addresses that look like a bunch of random numbers. Now, if domains didn't exist, if people wanted to go to websites, they would have to remember the long IP address that is linked to the server that holds the website. Instead, people just use a domain that sends the people that go to the domain to the IP address that holds the website. There are tons of websites that sell domains like Bluehost, GoDaddy, Domain.com, and if you're on a budget like I am, you'll go for Domain.com. In these websites, you just write down the name of the domain you want, for example, Kiambrose. The website then shows which extensions for the domain name I chose are available and how much they cost per year. But wait, hold up, don't buy it just yet. Most websites will try to charge you for something called privacy protection. Privacy protection just hides the information like the name of the person that purchased the domain, the address, and so on. Now, if you live in Europe like I do, the GDPR protects you from this kind of thing, so you can just untick the box either way. But in my opinion, privacy protection doesn't really matter either way, it's like fine if people know who you are. Now, as I mentioned before, a domain just redirects people to an IP address. And an IP address isn't something you want everyone to know. To prevent this, you can go to cloudflare.com and sign up to a new account. Once the new account is created, add the newly purchased domain to your account. During the setup, it's going to ask you to change the name servers of your domain to something like this. To do this on domain.com, for example, you go down to DNS and name servers. And in the existing name servers, you replace the existing name servers to what Cloudflare told you to change them to. Once the Cloudflare name servers are added, you can go back to Cloudflare and into the DNS tab. In here, you just want to add one record by pressing the add record button. The type should be a, name should be at, the IPv4 address should be the public IP address of the web server, which in my case is this. Finally, save the record and note that it can take a couple of hours to propagate the changes, but it's usually pretty instant. Now the IP address of your web server is going to be hidden since it's going to go through the domain to Cloudflare to your web server. So the client never has access to the IP address of the web server since it goes through Cloudflare. If I now go to kiambrose.com, the domain correctly redirects me to the website I'm currently hosting on a web server. But as you can see, there's one little issue, which is that the site appears insecure as no SSL certificate has been installed. To fix this, go back to Cloudflare and to the SSL TLS tab and take the flexible option. This will install an SSL certificate between the domain and Cloudflare, so you don't actually have to change any configuration on the web server itself. And a quick reload will show that the website now has an SSL certificate. My name is Kian, and thank you for watching. Top of the tower.